If you want to. It's your only chance. But of course, it's entirely up to you. Do it now or face the consequences. I have no choice, do I? The cheapest, biggest stock of brand name beds is at Howard Bedding Centres, Dixon Street and on Barton Road, Glasgow and High Street, Paisley. Now there's a range of replacement windows offering higher performance in the beauty of natural hardwood from Allenwood. Tailor-made for you, strong and durable, safe and secure. Simple wipe-down maintenance, lasts for years. No fuss installation, all guaranteed. And all this can cost no more than ordinary double glazing. So call the Allenwood Action Line on 0792 792 792. It's the natural choice, so call now. There's only one thing as appealing as a packet of Trebor soft mints. And that's a packet of Trebor spearmint soft mints. 
This autumn, you can get your paws on some great bargains at SSEB. And you can rest easy, because there's nothing to pay until next year. However, not everyone has heard. Formula Shell, are you using it? Artificial colours or preservatives. Yum. Even your mother would approve. Where have you been all night? What? what? I'm just off to work, Mum. Great meals from Heinz. Just heat them and eat them. Action! It's another action packed week in the record as we meet Martin Shaw, the man of action they call Doyle. Action! Don't miss the record's exclusive interview with Michael Caine. He talks about his latest film, Surrender, and his return to television after 20 years. Action! It was to be Stephanie Beecham and Joan Collins together in Dynasty. Stephanie said yes, Joan said no. Find out why in the record. And get a piece of the action in our latest £5,000 holiday contest. It's action all the way in this week's Super Daily Record. And here's the racing page, out of your TV by Oracle. If it's updated coverage you want, page your Oracle. The big match Tom saw, ex certificate action between Rangers and Celtic. The doc considers the health of English football and says they're not well enough to return to Europe. And a pick of the action from the North London derby played this afternoon, Spurs against Arsenal. Scott Sport proudly presents the footballers who play for the worst team in the country. And in our memory lane spot this week, the explosive power of Alan Wells. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to this extended edition of Scott Sport. In the next 90 minutes, we'll bring you the many different faces of sport. The good, the bad and the downright unbelievable. The humour of the team who can't win. The flashing genius of our special memory lane guest, Alan Wells, who will relive for us some of his greatest triumphs. And included in all that, of course, the sensational happenings at Ibrox in the game between Rangers and Celtic, plus the pick of this afternoon's big ITV match from London, Tottenham Hotspur against Arsenal. The good later on, but first the bad and the ugly. Yes, it is disgraceful old firm match, which ended with £2 million worth of players watching it from the grandstand after the least edifying game between Rangers and Celtic in recent years. I'm joined by two former old firm players who have strong views on what went wrong and what's needed to put matters right. That's Derek Johnson and Jim Craig. 
And attention switches to European football in midweek with Rangers, St Mirren, Aberdeen and Dundee United all in action. And then it's the first major final of the season next Sunday. Aberdeen against Rangers in the Skull Cup final. You can see it all live on this channel. I'm joined by Mark McGee, formerly of Aberdeen, now with Celtic, and Bobby Russell, ex-Rangers, now with Motherwell, to preview the big week ahead. Frank McAvenny sent off. Chris Woods sent off. Terry Butcher sent off. And a few more very lucky not to be sent off. Sad to say, yesterday's old firm match was one long catalogue of what football shouldn't be about. In a word, a disgrace. Expect yet another SFA inquiry into a game which likes to boast that it's the greatest club match in the world and which continues to let itself down. Jim Craig and Derek Johnson were both at the match. Their quick comments on just what it was like. Derek Johnson. Well, it was very disappointing 